23rd of February, 2021, Melbourne. Now here's something funny you should know. Melburnians are slow walkers and they never ever take the stairs next to the escalators. I got off the train and darted up to the upper platforms with the stairs and headed out to the station. A few minutes later, Jaden arrived and he said he had just had a coffee before he came out. I said I hadn't had a single shot of coffee yet and he looked at me like it was deranged. We walked the streets and eventually ended up at a What's French cafe. This morning? What's happening this morning? Yeah, we, we are a... in a beautiful French cafe. Yes, we are. It's a gorgeous place. I don't speak a word of French. This guy can speak some... <laughs> some I just uh... ordered a cafe <laughs> I ordered in French and I loved how the people at the cafe reciprocated by responding in French. I taught Jaden je voudrais in French and prompted him to order in French too. The waitress came over and Jaden pointed at the menu and said uh, je voudrais and paused with a big smile. After standing still for a bit, the waitress said, uh, what would you like again? In English. We exited the cafe and decided to wander around. Eventually, we ended up in an alleyway and Jaden decided to paste one of his poems there. Right before he did it, a guy rode a bike past us in a narrow alleyway, which scared us both. Welcome to Melbourne. You've been working real hard. Yeah. Um, this was right before bed. I was mm -hmm. thinking about singing for some reason. <laughs> And I can't sing, so this is a... Oops. Oh. Another bike. Oh! <laughs> Remember what goes around, comes around? <laughs> it's all about where do, I, where do I put my scissors and where do I put my tape? Do you need a hand? No, no, yeah. no, no. If I'm not an independent man, what am I? <laughs> he finished his job and we went back into the streets. A few streets down, we found a lovely letter writing shop. The notebooks in there were ridiculously expensive, so we browsed around and didn't exactly buy anything. The owner was very nice, and when I said that I wanted to include her in a video, she shook her head and smiled and said that she was way too shy to do it. You know, maybe it's a generational thing, she said. Or maybe it's cultural, I said. People in the States love jumping in front of cameras. How great was that store? That was a great store. Yeah. I say, if, I, if, I, if I win the lottery, yeah. <laughs> as I've been saying a million times today, then I'll go there. <laughs> we exited the letter writing shop, and at a roads junction, Jaden stopped me. Hang on, do you see that girl with the orange hair across the street? Huh? It took me a second to come to my senses. We crossed the street and approached a girl and Jaden said, No way! And a girl turned around and said the same thing, but louder. Her name was Molly and she was Jaden's friend. You know my apartment is just like a few streets down from here. You guys want to come up and chill? Well, I thought I saw a friend and it turns out I did see a friend. And we're now the in friend is apartment. right here. We're, new in the, we're now in their new apartment. Oh hell yeah. Look at this shit. What the hell? Great. This is you. Yeah, I want to move into an apartment. Yeah. yeah. She moving with me. <laughs> we probably shouldn't, you know. <laughs> we probably tear each other to pieces after a week. Yeah, we will. <laughs> yeah. So we tagged along and ended up in an apartment on the 34th floor. The height made me want to vomit, and we stayed around for a bit. After that, we took the elevator down and went to a little pub for a few drinks. The sun was setting, and when we were nice and tipsy, we went under a bridge and watched the streets darken. What? What? There's another one. <laughs> the hero's journey. I did it. You did it. This is what I was born to do. <laughs> Eventually everything settled down and it was time for us to go home.